Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. We had such a great show last week with Randy Morris. Everybody said it was one of their most favorite shows of, of the year so far. And I liked it because I felt like I was six foot eight as I stood up on the chair to be equal to Randy. Uh, I have found that he is now busier than ever and we are planning our basketball camp for 300 kids for the month of August and we'll be announcing which of the NBA players are gonna to come to join us. It's, it's just wonderful to be able to give. And that I wanted to continue in that vein because it's something that is so close to my heart, if, as most of you know. So I want to introduce my guest, Dana Land. Dana, welcome to Seymour's World. Thank you. It's you a have, pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. And you have been here before as my guest, but you looked a little different the last oh, time you were here. Oh, did I? Well, you were Hula Rosie? Was that it? Was that Maybe. It? Maybe she took my place. Oh, my that God. That morning. You had this characterization, and you were speaking in a different language or tongue. Uh, mind you, you were just as sexy then as you are now. <laughs> So I'll let her know. She's in my closet right now, uh, so I'll make sure I pass that along. She'll there, be very happy to hear that. Are there other people in your closet as well? Yes, there's Sylvia Agnes Gribble. She's hanging out there with Hula Rosie right now. Uh -huh. They're having martinis for uh, breakfast. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. and uh, Lola, the Russian undercover operative, she's in there too. She probably tied them up because she's tired of them. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, Dana, I'm uh, looking forward to the show because I'm cracking up as we speak. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you have been with the Make Em Smile program, my foundation, for the last two or three years now. Yes. And you are one of the best performers that we have oh, well. because you put your heart into it. Tell us about it. Tell us what makes you play. Well, thank you for that. But I, I think all the musicians really put their heart in it. I mean, that's why we mm -hmm. do this, right? Well, I love working with all ages, but my very favorite demographics are really seniors and children. Mm -hmm. So I love doing Shriners Children's right. Hospital. That's Tell us about that a little my bit. My favorite. Well, I realized uh, back when I was doing jazz presentations in the schools in Northern California and then here on the Windward side when I returned back to the island about five years ago, that the I idea is to get the kids engaged in the music. So we do that by giving them all a shaker you know, or a little drum or something that they can keep tempo with and create some sound. So with Shriners, it's no different. You know, even though the kids may have some physical limitations with their hands or their arms, they can always figure out a way to make some noise and, and participate. And in you the have music. the caregivers participate and the parents oh, absolutely. participate. Absolutely. No, everybody I, has to participate. There's 20 or 30 people there banging around. Yeah. And I just, I love that. It's and it makes joyous. the kids forget about all the reasons they're at Shriners for. You got it. You that got it. That's that's what gift. music does, yeah. you know. And so we'll make sure that we have them sing along too. So we'll do some day oh misa de misa de misa de misa de misa de and again I get the kids singing right along with me. You know, come Mr. Tally Man, tally me banan. Daylight come and me wanna go home. So it's it's just fun. I have a whole chorus, actually, and I always kid with them. Okay, I'm taking you guys on the road with me. Oh, you that know. is so cool. Well, uh, you Thank know, you for having me as part of the wonderful Make Them Smile organization. It's a really it's gift a, for us. Thank you, know. you very much. It's uh, something I do from my heart, and I know it's in your heart, too. And we never stop. You know, we keep yeah. going. We, just before we came on air, we talked about expanding it to senior citizen centers because it's yeah. such a natural thing for them, and we'd love to do it. but. We're already in eight hospitals, and we have calls for many more hospitals, not just here, but on the mainland, mm -hmm. that want the Make Em Smile program. So mm -hmm. for us, it's a, it's a gift that we can share. And thanks yeah. to people like you, Dana, we're able to continue growing. And right now, we're at 48 musicians. Wow. Eight hospitals, That's over 4,000 kids a year that we play for. So it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. Absolutely you are doing wonderful. a brilliant job. That it's is not me. just... It's really not me, it's you Well, guys. I know, but you are spearheading this, and that's what it takes, is somebody to decide to do it, and then to do it. 
well, and continue it's, it's doing been, it. Thank you. Yeah. I, I really feel I play a very minor part in this whole thing. But let's go on to what you came for. And I was so intrigued when you said to me about a month ago, I think, or even six weeks ago, you said, Seymour, yeah. I'm embarking on something else to give back. Yeah. And of course, my ears perked up because you know that's part of my foundation. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, and yeah. the audience can see if we can get a close up of the book mm. that you are coming out with a book called How to Make Good Choices. Now, this is for the Hawaii marketplace. Yeah. Tell us about the book, how it all started, mm. and where it's going. I'd be happy to tell you about it. Well, it's a small yet very mighty book, and it's being used all over the world to affect positive change, uh, not only for children, but also for adults, to give them a roadmap, if you will, a guide to how and why it's important to make good choices in life. Um, you know, so we've got 21 common sense values in this book. Uh, each with a little bit of a description as to... Could you give us a couple of, of sure. examples in case oh, people can't Oh, absolutely. Um, be faithful. Help children. Set a good example. Be truthful. Don't do anything against the law. Support the religious uh, beliefs of others. Um, do not steal. Be worthy of trust. Help those who help you. Keep yourself busy and get things done, which is along the same lines as being competent. Right, right. right. Um, uh, let's see. Try not to do things to others that you would not like them right. to do unto you. Mm -hmm. The golden rule, mm -hmm. right? There's mm -hmm. two two parts of that. Um, do well and succeed. Wow. I mean, how how many times do we get to tell children, you know, honey, if you do well, this is going to increase your ability to be of happy. Course. So how are you distributing this book? Well, I am now, it's a volunteer project of mine. And Another who, volunteer project And Hula Rosie's. Uh -huh. And what I do is I take presentations into youth organizations, uh, schools, YMCA's, Boys and Girls Club. And I first go in and we all dance to a little Bruno Mars music because uh -huh. that gets everybody happy and moving. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. then we all settle down. Everybody gets their own book and they put their name in the book. And then Hula Rosie just reads through the entire book with the children. Now, it may mean going back two or three times because it's kind of a long book, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we don't want to. What age group are you, this, are you targeting? This particular book is for 6 through 14, mm -hmm. although I did give it a uh, copy to my girlfriend who's in her 60s, and she said, you know, Dana, I think I could learn a little something mm -hmm. from this book. Mm -hmm. But there is a more advanced book called The Way to Happiness, and this is a direct translation from that book. And the book was from Robert Browning? Is that? The book, The Way to Happiness, was actually written as a separate work by L. Ron Hubbard, who I'm sure a lot of people mm -hmm. have heard mm -hmm. of. He founded Scientology. Of course, yeah. But when he traveled around the world, he realized people needed a guide um, to help direct them to a place where they would feel like they were doing better and could actually achieve some level of happiness. I mean, because don't we all want to be happy? Of course. Basically, of course. Yeah. I mean, we're not always happy, you know. Of course, except we for you. <laughs> no, even me, I'm not oh. always happy. No, but I've never seen you without a smile on your face. Well, you know, you hide I, it well. I, you know, I don't hide it, but um, you know, when I, when you're on the road to uh, enjoying what you're doing, yeah. and you love people, you genuinely yeah. love people, and want to help to whatever degree that is. It helps the we happiness quotient. You're right. You know, it really yeah. does. Yeah, we share that feeling. Both of us share the feeling of helping others being happy. But make them smile. That's, yeah. Make them smile. We both have that. I we know. Both have that. And I love to say aloha begets aloha. Right. Because, you know, when you're willing to um, put good energies out there mm -hmm. uh, to help others, then, you know, it makes them feel better and life is just happier So that way. maybe we can put up on the screen how people can get this book or make donations sure. to for because you're distributing these books. Yeah, there. yeah. So there's the there's the sign. It's how to make goodchoices.org, yes. and you'll have a, a place for them to donate money or a place where they can order the books. Yes, I'm working on all of that now. So uh, if somebody is interested in doing something today, call me. My phone number's on the back there. That's how passionate I am about yep. it. Crazy me. What was I thinking? I put my phone number there. So anybody 
who wants a free presentation mm -hmm. for any group of kids or even adults. I mean, I plan on taking this into drug rehabs and prisons. I think it's a with very the way to good happiness. Idea. And guess what, Seymour? There are free curriculums for any educator, business person, or a correction facility. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe I'll even go sit down with Susan Ballard and see if maybe the Honolulu Police Department might be idea. interested in doing this curriculum. I think the what idea... What do you think? I, th I love it. The idea, when you first presented it to me, yeah. I said, this is fantastic, because if there's anything we need to teach our kids, and, you know, I teach that when I do all my Holocaust speeches, I teach about the choice that they have yeah. of doing something good yeah. or watching somebody doing something bad. Right. So we're talking about bullying. Right. We're talking about harassment. These are all choices that you have. Mm -hmm. Sit by and let it happen, or are you going to make the choice of getting involved and doing something about it? Exactly. And of course, making the right choice is really critical to yeah. whether you're going to be a good person. Absolutely. And it, you, it starts with that first pebble that goes into the water. Yeah. If you make the right choice at the beginning of your life mm -hmm. and you decide you're going to do the right thing to help others, mm -hmm. that first choice is going to lead you to a much better life. You got that right. And I just want to say young children instinctively know right from wrong. Most young children, you mm -hmm. know, five, six, seven year olds. Mm -hmm. What happens is that as they get older, they start getting influenced by older siblings or cousins mm -hmm. or peers. And that's when they can go off the rails and start making some bad choices that can just lead them down the wrong path. But your book is going to lead them into understanding the difference between a good choice and a bad choice. Exactly. I loved that when I read that book. Exactly. It explains, it doesn't just say this is a good choice, it gives you what happens if you take a bad road, if you go yeah. down the wrong road. I love exactly. the book. Exactly. It can now, mess you up for life. I know. You know. Now, uh, we have some photos. Can we show a few of the photos? Absolutely. Let's see the first one and maybe we could... Ah, tell us about that. Oh, you. Well, this is at our beloved Shriners Children's Hospital. Yes, and Patrick. With my dear friends Patrick Von Wiegen and Mark Hazard. And, and you can see in your hand, you're getting ready to give out a whole bunch of toys yeah. to the kids. Yeah, we've got There's some go clubs. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I you know, see. They're actually pods. And it, I, it's, I, just, it's such a fantastic thing you do. Oh, it's it is so, so wonderful. Just Let's see the, the next kids. one. Ah. Oh, look at that. There's Hula Rosie. Yeah. And this is actually in Aruba. She had a gig there uh, uh -huh. for a private client. And I went there to entertain. And they actually had the way to happiness in Papamento, which is You're the kidding. language right. of Aruba, which incorporates four different languages. Uh, Aruba, by the way, is next yeah. to Curaçao, which yes, it is, is in the, in the uh, Caribbean. In the ABC yeah. Islands, yeah. yes. Oh, cool. And, um, so it was so, translated into how many languages so far? 100, about 115 languages. Oh, my God. The this Way to so Happiness, wonderful. which is the more advanced copy right. of this, which is for yeah, older Let's see the next teens one. and adults. And there is a teacher I met in Waikiki. Now, that's and not Hula Rosie, is it? That's Hula Rosie. Again, Hula Rosie yes. has different outfits. Well, she does. Of oh course, she has to have. Now, can I call you sexy there? What's covering the left and the right? Never mind. It's her name tag. Oh, it's her just name tag. Just in case anybody tag. forgets. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So this is a teacher who teaches in California, and I had a lovely conversation with her. And she wanted to know about the book. And she said, that's it. I'm taking it back to my class. Wow. And I want to teach the kids some common sense values. You know, This I, could be part of a curriculum. It really oh, could be. Well, it has its it own curriculum. Be. I know that. Yeah. But it should be in the school system. That's my feeling. I, and I'm going to help you with that because I know some people in that area. So great. I think it's a wonderful thing to do. Wonderful. Well, can I, can I let you in on a little secret? Yes. I won't say, you know, tell names, but... I was talking to the president of a very fine K through 12 school here uh -huh. in Honolulu, and um, I asked him, "Do you guys have any sort of ethics or, or morals classes, uh -huh. you know, throughout the 12 grades?" And he wasn't quite sure. And he said, "Well, maybe we have some ethics class in eighth grade." He wasn't sure, so I'm going to be calling him up. Excellent say, idea. Yes, mister, Excellent. I'm going to come I, and I, I offer happen, this to you. I happen to know a lot of them because I lecture at a lot of these schools. So right. it'll, be, it'll be a wonderful way for me to give you back some of what you do for me. Oh. So we'll have a quick program. Well, we'll be giving, giving back together, together right? Okay. It's That's a such a beautiful that thing. That is such a beautiful <laughs> thing. Now, I 
here some uh, members of our audience are asking us to sing, but we're going to hold off on that because I want that to be the beginning of uh, the second half of the show. All right. I think I have to get my voice ready to accompany you. Would you like me to accompany you? Of course. You? Do you want everybody to turn off their televisions and their computers? <laughs> because when they hear my voice, they will not want to. Oh, it no, up. no. It's all about the spirit of play. Okay, we're going to do it for you. Okay. Time. All right. Well, I, I'm Seymour Kazimersky with Dana Land mm -hmm. on Seymour's World of Think Tech Hawaii. We're going to be back in a minute, and you will hear me sing for the first time with Dana Land. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea comes on every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join us. I like to bring in guests that talk about all types of things that come across the sea to Hawaii. Not just law, love, people, ideas, history. Please join us for Law Across the Sea. Aloha. Good afternoon. My name is Howard Wig. I am the proud host of Code Green, a program on Think Tech Hawaii, we show at 3 o'clock in the afternoon every other Monday. My guests are specialists, both from here and the mainland, on energy efficiency, which means you do more for less electricity and you're generally safer and more comfortable while you're keeping dollars in your pocket. Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Seymour, Ka I'm Seymour Kazimersky. It is Seymour's World and it's on Think Tech Hawaii. So uh, we have Dana Land with us today, who has been my guest before as this famous character named Hula Rosie. Uh, she also has some other characters in the closet, and I mean in the closet. So we have to be very careful and I'm trying to be you know, I'm trying to keep calm around Dana. It's not easy. Dana, welcome back to the show. Do I have that effect on you? Yes, you do. Yes, yes, yes you absolutely have that effect. So All in I, fun. I promised the audience we're going to start off with a song. Okay. All right. Now, I, do, I know you don't have an accompanist here. No. But you have me. I do. And is that good or bad? Oh, that's excellent. Uh, that might ruin your reputation. No, you no, might, no. You might have a lot of canceled gigs after we do this together. <laughs> I am going to help you with the chorus. How's that? Great. Okay. I love it. So introduce the song and what we're doing. Okay, well, I, I have a show called Dana Does Frank, Tony, Dean, Mel, and Bobby. Okay. And of course, these are all the old crooners right. from yesteryear. Yeah, of them. course, Tony Bennett is still alive yeah. and well and singing beautifully. At 90? At the, I think, yeah, at least yeah. 90. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think he had his he big 90th with, birthday. Uh, what's that? Um, Lady uh, Gaga? Yes, oh Lady God. Gaga. What a pair. Yeah. Awesome, okay. awesome pair. Anyway, so I, I have a show that I do. Uh, I do have a show coming up at Jazz Minds on the 21st of mm -hmm. this month. Um, and so this is a Dean Martin tune that I will be previewing in the show, which is a fun, fun song okay. that I love. And I'm going to help you with it. And it goes like this. Go. And I go into my Isabella Ann Maria Sofia Alborghetti Lorenz Schwartz. Character. She's from Sicily. Oh, Sicily, Italian. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah. you know her very much. She so. has a very foundation so. shop oh, in yes, Sicily. Yeah. yeah, a foundation. Foundation shop. for real foundation. Yes, exactly. Ah, I know she the fits all the know. women of Sicily oh, yeah. with the very nice lacy homes. Oh, you might oh. know about her. Oh, and then oh. she give mambo lessons right At next the same door. Time. Yeah, ah, and good. all the young boys they, they good file lady. up after school, and then ah. all all of my women friends they come. To help teach the young think, men I, I how to dance. I remember I was in Sicily a long time ago, and when I went to Sicily, I remember looking in a window and I see this woman with the foundation. Oh, never mind, never mind. Go ahead, <laughs> sing the song. Sing the song. Okay, right I sing. sing I, I sing this song. Okay. A girl went back to Sicily because she missed the scenery the native dances and the charming songs but wait a minute 
Something's wrong. Two, three, four. Hey, mambo, mambo, mambo Italiano. Hey, mambo, mambo Italiano. Go, go, Joe. You mixed up Sigiliano. Are you calibrate it with a mambo like a crazy? Hey, mambo, don't mambo want Italiano. the Hey, mambo, no more mozzarella. Hey, mambo, hey, mambo Italiano. Check it in chalada with the fish of bacalara and a hey, goomba. I love how you dance, rumba. But take us some advice, paisano. Learn how to mumble. If you gonna be a square, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Hey, mambo, mambo, mambo italiano. Hey, mambo, mambo italiano. Go, go, Joe, you crazy Sigiliano. Are you call a brazier or a mambo like a crazy? Hey, <laughs> you were singer very good. Oh, very, very thank good. You. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely, you have an accent. Uh, uh, you come straight from Sicily. Oh. I can tell you come straight from Sicily. I like that. Thank you. Because I do. Perfecto. Perfecto. Absolutely. Oh. Perfecto. Oh. Grazie. Merci beaucoup. No, no, no. Grazie. <laughs> Merci beaucoup is the wrong language. I know. I grazie, know. grazie. Just changing Excellent. it up a little bit. Just beautiful. Thank you for doing Thank you for point. joining and me. That, me? I just ruined your whole song. No, you but, did not. Uh, it was great. You added the icing up. Well, let's go back to what we're here for, and that's talking about helping other people and hopefully making you guys laugh, too, because if you don't laugh, you're not having a good time in life, and that's what our Make Him Smile is all about. That's what our whole... Uh, that's what I think when you get later on in life a little bit, you get a little older and you start realizing that all this stuff we're seeing, this negativity in this world, mm -hmm. everything that we're, we're, we're seeing in the newspaper and television, all this, everybody's trying to sensationalize everything yep. towards the negative. Yep. I just noticed on the news the other day that they were talking about the weather mm -hmm. and they could only point to all the bad weather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't say that 80% of the country is in beautiful spring and the cherry blossoms are out. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. They said there's a storm here that's going to affect 3 million mm -hmm. people. Another storm there that's going to affect 8 million people. Isn't that crazy? Oh, it's all negative. So and, you know, and even with social media, there's a lot of emphasis on the negativity. And, um, you know, what I try to do when I'm posting things, you know, Instagram is all about Hula Rosie and friends, um, but also Facebook is, you know what, let's highlight there's so much beauty in the world, and there's so many people doing great things to help others, and there is so much beauty. If you get allow yourself to be sucked into the news, you'll think that we're going to hell in a handbasket. You are correct. And it's it drives us down, and it's very unfortunate. Um, you know, I say turn off all that stuff, go out, take a walk, help somebody who's less fortunate, um, go out and clean a closet, you know, smile as you pass people. I mean, there's so many simple things that that all of us can do to not only positively affect others, but also positively affect ourselves. You know, we talked about it before the show when I told you that everybody smiles at me. And I, I said, oh, maybe I'm a handsome guy or something. Maybe yeah, I'm looking good. Or maybe they least. like bald men. I have no idea. But the real, the real reason is because I'm smiling. Yeah. And when I smile and somebody sees you smile, they smile right back at you. That's it's right. it's such a common factor that I see now that yeah. if you are scowling or you're looking at your telephone and anything like that, right. you're not going to get a reaction from people. But if you're right. looking at somebody and you smile at them, you're going to get a smile back. Absolutely. And in, most cases, in most what's cases. In most cases. What's better than that? So yeah. let's go, we have a few And that's more why photos. Hula Rosie was born. I know. You know, I mean, really She's a little crazy, right? Well, you know what? She just loves people. Oh, okay. I mean, really. Uh, I mean, it's like me, but on a whole higher level, because people would really think I but was she nuts is in the closet. if I went out and did the things that Hula Rosie does. Right. But because she's dressed up crazily, you uh -huh. know, people can say, okay, well, she's a little bit of a character, so we'll allow her to be crazy. Where, you know, but it's can, crazy fun, crazy see, love. Where can people see Hula Rosie? Oh, my gosh. Well, Where's your next, your next event? You know, uh, you'll find me on the streets of Waikiki. And, you know, I do some corporate work and private work Good. with a show that I have called So people Hula can Rosie. reach you, though, at your, at your org, right? At uh, howtomakegoodchoices.org. Oh, sure. And then they can ask you about the Hula Rosie. Oh, through, yeah, through social media. You'll have a lot of people media. calling you and asking you. And Instagram. Especially since I told them that you're crazy. I, I meant that uh, Hula Rosie <laughs> is a little bit off. Crazy Let's look fun. at some of the photographs again. 
Who's that? Okay, so that's a dear friend, Tim Melchior. Mm -hmm. uh, this was taken out in front of the Elks Club when he was here visiting from Glendale, where he lives, and he was the person who translated the way to happiness into how to make good choices oh, because cool. he wanted to be able to teach his what daughter, his eight-year-old daughter, uh, common sense values. But um, the way to happiness is for more uh, advanced readers. And so he took the time to actually translate it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and he's, he's, he's all about getting this out into the world. Terrific. And so Terrific. I love Let's that see the guy. next one. Okay. There's the book. There's the so book. So explain the cover. You redid the cover for Hawaii. Yeah, I just some simple changes. I added the subtitle, Bringing the Aloha Spirit to Life. Mm -hmm. Because that is what this is all about. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, people will say, well, what is Aloha Spirit? Well, it's a lot of things, you know, mm -hmm. all good, of course. But how do we teach that to our keiki? Keiki is our, our keiki children. Our keiki is children. Right. Yeah, children in Hawaiian. And so by having a guide that uh, gives children some ethics and morals, a foundation of ethics and morals, they will go off to do well. And something very exciting that I'm doing is I'm aligning a junior ambassador of Aloha certification program with this book. Terrific. So there'll be a check sheet. And Terrific. if every student can demonstrate that they understand all 21 chapters, then we'll have a special celebration. Excellent idea. And I have some very exciting uh, ideas up my sleeve Ooh. for these kids. You're, you're going to have to come back. Yeah, to, I will. Absolutely. I'd love to. Because I you. love this kind of stuff. Let's yeah. see the next one. We only have a couple more minutes. All righty. Hi, Hula. There's I mean, hi, whoever you are. Some of there. my favorite neighborhood kids who um, have read the book with Hula Rosie, and uh -huh. they love it, and uh, it's just Look at the smiles on kind of a kids. perfect example of a really cute group yeah. of our keiki. Wow, and the next I one? I love them. I think we only have a couple more. Yeah. Okay, so this was a Honolulu Police Department outreach program called Coffee with a Cop. It was at the Starbucks in Kahala Mall, mm -hmm. and I went and had numerous conversations with them, about six or seven different police officers. I gave them copies of the book, and I asked them what they thought about it, and they said, hurry up and get this out into the community. Right. It's sorely needed. I mean, there's uh, increase in teen depression. Uh, you know, there's teen suicide. There's a lot of problems, um, drug addiction going on here in Hawaii. I think, I think as we wrap up, Dana, I'm sorry the show is over, but okay. as we wrap up, I have to tell you how impressed I am that you've taken this on amongst all of the other things that you're doing. Because making good choices is something that we learn from where we're very young. Mm -hmm. And too many of us, mm -hmm. of course, make bad choices and don't realize the consequences of those bad choices. Right. So the important work that you are doing is absolutely necessary, and I'm behind you 110%. Thank you, sir. So I'd like to offer you my assistance in any way that I can. Thank and, you. And uh, I want to give back to you the way you've been giving back to Make Him Smart. Oh, you are doing so much already, Seymour, but thank you so much it's for your my, generosity. You absolutely. are the most generous person I know. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And I <laughs> thank you. you. I, <laughs> I love you, too. And I thank you for coming on the show today and spreading this message of Making good choices is the right thing to start your life. Yeah. Absolutely thank you for having terrific. me. It's my pleasure. And thank you all for watching Seymour's World and Think Tech Hawaii. Great show with Dana. I love having her come here. I can speak Italiano or French or whatever, whatever <laughs> seems to come to us at the time <laughs> when right. we're talking. And uh, it's, uh, it's something we all need to realize, that making good choices from the beginning we start, the beginning of our day until the end of the day, it's really critical in, in living a better life. Aloha from Seymour's World. We'll see you next week. Mm.